Happy Monday. This is Shona. We're like, we're getting up at seven and we're going to the beach. We're going to start this week off right. The only problem is I feel like I might have just got my period. Good morning and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's kind of fresh this morning, but we're going to go to the beach. Yep, I just got my period. <laughs> so this is my little beach outfit. I'm wearing a little skirt. I never wear skirts. Both of these are from White Fox. I have this little bag that I take to the beach. It's got all my little necessities in there. Tampons, pads, ooh, lip balm. Just gonna put some lip balm on now because this has got SPF in it and you're supposed to put SPF on before you go into the sun. However, this lip balm's really thick. Okay. There's obviously SPF in it. Look, I've got white lips now. Also gonna put some no pong deodorant on. My sister and I watched Benjamin Buttons last night. It was so sad, but it really changed my perspective on life. Kind of made me want to do more things and live life with more experiences, I guess. Also got my sunnies from Key. Not Quay, Key. And they're pink. Okay, I don't think I can wear sunnies with my hat on. Doesn't really work. Here you go. Come on, you want to. Good boy. This is a decaf coffee, by the way, and it's the brand Bun Coffee. We love Bun Coffee because it's chemical free. Because what they do, they wash the beans, but they wash it in different ways. Like they can wash it with chemicals or they can wash it with water. And this one's washed with water. So the plans today, we um, we do have some work to do. We need to get the weekly vlog up for tomorrow. Um, this house is a mess, so I need to vacuum because there's probably sand everywhere. And I also want to wash my car. And I also want to book for a dentist appointment as well just to get a check out. So busy day. Our parents are coming home today. We have the nice. house to ourselves on the weekend, which was really lovely, but they're coming home today. Mm -mm. Can you go outside? I'm getting my legs waxed today by mum. Whoa, this wax looks like white chocolate. Holy dooly. So this one's for your underarms. Okay, this is gonna hurt because I got my period yesterday. Remember that pain? Yep. Ew. <laughs> Here's what my legs look like after waxing. Whoa. That's horrid. Why is it so bad today? I'm still in my pajamas. Yeah, we've been on the laptops all day. We're having a snack. We've already tried these for the first time on TikTok yesterday. It's a trend on TikTok where you put ice cream in there. Yeah. I said the roll-up. It's the roll-up and the ice cream, but Jazz bought 
the frozen yogurt, strawberry frozen yogurt. So what you do, you put it in the roll up. Everyone knows. Why are we no, they might not know. Mum's making bread, so that's what you can hear in the background. Ta-da. Okay, and then we just like hang out. The thing with the roll ups is they got that tattoo shit on them and your hands get all dirty from the ink. I think you folded it the wrong way then. It's supposed to be that way. Oh, <laughs> I folded it the wrong way. Wait, it's not ready yet. Oh no. So you let it sit like this. Huh. <laughs> oh. I ended up getting my lip waxed, my eyebrows, my arms waxed, legs. Hmm. Anyway, back to work. It's been quite a productive morning while Renee was baking the cake. I was organizing all the finances and doing a tax. I know we have ages till financial year, but I want to be like properly organized. We've decided that we're getting out of the house and doing something for us. So we're going to go for a little walk along the beach. Um, my hair is really frizzy today, so I'm attempting a slick back bun just so it's like out of my face. I don't usually do this hairstyle. Last time I tried it, it was really bad. Like I didn't do a very good job. Hopefully today is different. I'm gonna put some of this in my hair. It's the Spiralicious Gel. I don't particularly wanna put hairspray in my hair, so I'm not gonna do that. Or well, maybe I will put a little bit of hairspray in. I do have a vegan hairspray. Renee got me this one. It literally says vegan on the bottle. What does that even mean? Like, I know what it means. Aren't all hairsprays vegan? I don't know. I also have this hairbrush, which can help me with the situation. Smooth. So like that. Yeah, it's got all lumps and bumps everywhere. Oh, I really fucked that up, didn't I? I almost forgot the most important ingredient, gel. I'm using this gel, it's spiralicious. It's a full curly hair. I put way too much in. I'm not very fussy with how it looks, so if it's got like bumps everywhere, fuck it. I'm actually like not bothered. And yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't really like that situation, but it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about it. I know we're only going for a walk on the beach, but I did end up putting a little bit of shadow under my eye, some concealer and some blush. And this is the look. Guys, I was just trying to pick an outfit and I jammed my fucking finger in the sliding doors. You're kidding. Marble band-aids, why are they wet? I got Thor today. I'm just gonna wear this shirt with the skirt with the swimmers. All right, I've gone with a completely different look. I don't really like it. I think I've decided on these. I don't know. I think it's this hairstyle. Like everything I put on, I'm like, no, thank you. Oh, these shorts are quite tight. I'm just putting a bunch of clothes on and I can't even really fit them anymore. This is honestly becoming a joke. Uh, This is it. I'm just gonna film a TikTok because I didn't film one yesterday. So I'm going back to the hairdressers in four weeks and then it's Okay, there is one thing that I've changed in my life. I haven't been on TikTok in two days. Like I haven't done this whole scrolling thing. I'm gonna try not to go on TikTok. I'm gonna try not go on my phone as much because I wanna do more things. I wanna do more things in my day. You have no idea how much time I've been wasting on my phone. It's actually ridiculous. So I haven't been on TikTok in a while and I just went on there and I literally just started watching a video. My stepsister just uploaded a TikTok and I'm, I'm going to watch this one. But after that, I'm just going to turn the app off. Let's get filming. I think I have the bubble. Oh, no, I don't. You want to get the bubble and your voice changes? Oh, another thing we want to do is make some moisturizer today. Oh, back in the day, we, Jazz and I used to make our own moisturizer. We had literally bought all these ingredients, spent so much money to like make our own stuff and be more sustainable. And we just stopped. And I'm disappointed in ourselves. So the old Hogan twins are going to be coming back. We're going to be more sustainable make our own moisturizer. Another new thing is we've actually been talking about where we want to, what we want to do with our life. 
So originally we were saving up money to go buy a house and now we're saving money to go traveling because that feels right. So we're going to be planning our travels. And the first place we're going to is Canberra. And it's going to be in the middle of the year. I'm so excited. I love Canberra. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm going to get ready. So as most of you guys know, I used to work in a... So I just posted my TikTok. Majority of the comments are always nice. But there's always like one or two or three comments that really get you down. Like why does one negative comment have to beat like 50 nice comments? Life is annoying like that. In this TikTok, I was just talking about how I'm feeling at the moment and how just being a content creator and just like sometimes feeling a bit guilty not going to work every day and like everyone goes to work and you know, am I doing the right thing? I'm still living at my parents, blah, 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 my anxiety. Well, I didn't actually talk about my anxiety in this one. And there was this comment that was really rude. I went up and look at that and this is the reason why I don't go on TikTok is it makes me feel like shit. Even though there's so many nice comments, but it's just like one or two. All right. Anyways, this is my outfit today. Just an oversized t-shirt, some baggy shorts. It's also raining right now and we're getting in the car and driving to the beach and going for a walk in the rain. Vibes. And we made it to the beach and it's not even raining here. It's sprinkling. Okay, we can see this big stick like cabin thingy that someone built with sticks. Look at that. It's giving mag... What's that movie called again? Oh, um... Madagascar! This is made really well, like really thought out. Holy dooly. We just got back from the beach. We said that we dropped off the old negative energy at the start of the beach and then we walked for an hour and came back and we're like... I feel like two different people. We got home to a parcel on our bed from Yeti! They're big! Holy oh, shit! I didn't realise I was big. That one's yours. Yeah. Wait, no, you got grey. Oh yeah, I did. This is our new support bottle. I got the grey one, Jazz got the black one. Do you take the sticker off? Wait, how do you drink out, you out do. of it? Is it say you drink out of it like this? Yeah, I don't drink out of it like that. Oh, wait, no, look. Wait, how'd you get that? Oh, you do undo the top. What do you undo? The oh. whole lower. Oh, that's sippable. Like, I like that little lip. So it's happy hour. We're gonna make ourselves a little drink. I don't even know if you can hear us because the rain is really loud. I oh, know, it's nice. Yeah, we're gonna try and make a whiskey sour. I've been trying to make whiskey sours. They don't quite taste like the real whiskey sours because I'm not adding egg to it. We have a finger lime tree. Have you seen these before? They're really cool. Look at that. Whoa. Bit over 15. This. This is good. Mm. Mm. And the little poppy bits in it. It's so That's good. That's so good. We've been doing happy hour every single day. Yeah. Just to celebrate getting through the day. Just to celebrate life. Every day. Why not? We mm. also have a little snack. Red deli lime chippies. It's quite nice. With a bit of salt, you know. Just oh, it's really. They're, they're fucking good. Mmm. I'm handing my uniform in today, like I'm handing it back to Twin Towns. Finally! I've been putting this off because I've just been dreading going into work and handing it in and I'm a little bit nervous. I used to work at Twin Towns if you didn't know. Um, I'm sure most of you did because I used to wear my uniform top and just like have it displayed right there. But uh, I'm just about to hand this in. Never stop working towards achieving your goals. Consistency is key, you'll get there. Just handed my uniform in. Well done. I'm so happy that's done. I was a little bit scared doing it. Jasmine's just swallowing some Advil because she has a headache all the time. But we've just driven to Coolangatta and we're going to have a little look. We've just driven to Coolangatta and we're going to have a little walk around. We're in the mood to shop, which is not a good thing. We're going to go to this bookstore first because it's like rustic, old yeah, fashioned. It, I think it's reused books. Reused? Like it's sustainable. It's a bit I like used. that. So, oh yeah, secondhand bookshop. It smells like books. Jazz just wants to get this book because of the look of it. <laughs> it looks so nice. Oh, and the old pages too. Yeah. Guys, we got different smoothies. We always get the same. This smoothie is so, so damn good. And I got the straws are so cute. It's like a bio mm. cup as well. 
I got the green nut. Jazz got the strawberry banana smoothie. But I got rid of the coconut yogurt and I didn't replace it. Try mine. Mmm, fresh. Don't bend the straw. Mmm. Whoa. Mine's good, That's right? Like breakfast. <laughs> we just went to IGA and we got some goodies. Look what we got. Twisters. And they don't even taste good. Where are these from, America? Boy, the reason that we got them was particularly Kangaroo Jack, if you've watched Kangaroo Jack. Kangaroo Jack! That's what it reminds me of. They don't taste good. I literally, it's the reason I got them. They're really crummy when you eat them. But yeah, we also got this. We've been loving the Daryl Lee chocolate. So we got some more of the bullets. So good. And then we went to the bottle though. We got some more Jamison. I saw this at the counter. I've never tried it before. Yes, we have. No, I haven't tried the sheepdog. No, oh, you haven't. Have peanut you? butter. No. We can open it. What's in it? Yeah, I would love to. It's peanut butter whiskey. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's got like that peanut buttery aftertaste, but it's not too much peanut butter. It's almost like caramelly peanut butter. We also got three of these. Some tuna. Also got some more sweet chili sauce. But we particularly went to IGA to pick up some more lemons because of our little lemon drink that we've been drinking. The last thing that we got at the shops, the only thing that we got at the shops, is this book. Mum's mowing the lawn, so this is kind of a pain to listen to. But yeah, exciting things are coming. Just smell it. Mm. Oh, I can tell it from here. It smells so, so good. excited. Good morning. Happy Friday. Last night I thought I was getting sick because my throat was starting to hurt and it's hurting again this morning. As soon as the weather starts getting a little bit cooler, I get the fucking flu. Our parents are leaving for the weekend, so we have the house to ourselves this weekend. I'm so excited. It's currently seven o'clock in the morning. I may have popped on my phone first thing in the morning. Whoopsies. Had a little scroll on Tiki Tok. It's 7.19 and I'm getting out of bed. Good morning. Happy Friday. <clears throat> I try to do this every single morning, doing some journaling. It was after I watched The Notebook and Benjamin Buttons, it kind of inspired me to like journal more and turn my life into a bit of a story. Good morning. Happy Friday. I feel kind of guilty today because work asked me to work today and I said no, not because I have a busy day, just because I'm like dreading to go back to work. The thing is, it's just really hard to blend like this type of work with nursing. Like when I'm at work, I get quite distracted and that is not the place you, that is not a good place to get distracted. So I think the best thing to do is just take a step back from there and just focus on this because I can't really do two things at once, especially when they're very, very different. And like, even though this month has been like nothing going on really, like collab wise, it's just been nice to spend the time with Renee. Like I love nursing and I had really good days at work, but to be honest, I had more bad days at the hospital and it's not the job itself it's actually like me like I was feeling claustrophobic this sounds really bad but like the worst part I didn't like was having to get there at a certain time and then I can only leave at this time like that was just really claustrophobic for me I know it's like literally normal like it's shifts but I hate being told what to do I just didn't feel like I had freedom and I hate that feeling and I think it might be because I am a Sagittarius and I have that like free spirit in me I want to be the boss of myself but yeah that saying is so true if you find something that you love you never have to work a day in your life and it's okay to try things and then not like it and then walk away like it's fine life is really short actually just try different things life's about learning i believe this we're put on this earth to learn it's like a big lesson and it doesn't matter how much money you're getting or what you're doing if you're happy with what you're doing you're successful you're the successful one compared to someone that's earning bucket loads and they're depressed as hell you're not learning as much but you're happy you're successful <laughs> actually cold this morning my god i'm literally already feeling 100 times better just because the weather's cooler so i've spent most of my morning going through this book and like writing down all these places to see in great britain renee will be excited i also looked up renee yeah i'm telling renee as well because i didn't tell her but i'm looking up everywhere that outlander was filmed like oh. all the places and like i have a whole list and there's still heaps oh. and you can see pretty much everything can you do harry potter too yeah, the parcel just arrived. I bought a hairbrush and look at this parcel for a hairbrush. Seriously. Oh, they chucked in a Tim Tim. So this is for styling for curly hair. People on TikTok actually recommended this for me. It's got nine rows, which makes oh, a difference apparently. Sharp. 
How much is it? Uh, like 30. For expensive. So guys, we're about to leave the house. We didn't leave the house yesterday. We watched two movies yesterday. We watched Bridget Jones' Diary and we also watched The Lady Chatterley's Lover. It was really good. That was so good. We didn't really like Bridget Jones. Like apparently it's actually really popular and everyone no, likes it. No, we don't like romantic comedy. Like mm. you do not mix comedy and romance. Romance is supposed to be like nice. Hey, why why turning it into a joke? Comedy? Like I get some people really love for some people, just not for us. It's not our top of tea. And then we put on The Lady Chatterley's Lover from Netflix. And I know and that's so slow, but that's, I was like, it was so it good. <laughs> the lover. That Scottish guy. Yum. But right now we are about to head off. We found a gallery nearby. So we're going to go to a gallery and we're going to go for like a little walk. There's like some nice little walk around where we are. Hopefully, yeah. Which I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, hopefully really it's cool. there. Mm. Update on the bottles. Best bottle I've ever owned. Oh. Let's go. We're going to get something to eat at the gallery as well because they've got a little cafe. Jazz got a coffee. She got a real coffee. I got a chai latte. We got a vegetarian toasty. Mm. How was it, girl? It's so good. Look at that oil. <laughs> so the cafe's in there. As soon as you walk out, you can go through there and there's a gallery. Look at that stunning view. I actually don't think we're allowed to film in here, so. Is it the. Um, I think that's. Julia Gillard. This is drawn by pen. Like literally pen. Look at that, like scribbles. Wow, this little room that we can look in. So we've just made it to the trail, rail trail. And there's the map there, Northern Rivers Rail Trail. Oh wait, we should find out how long this is. probably guess what day it is it's Tuesday we didn't vlog on Sunday yay we're just here to end the video I need to fart <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are intolerant to peanut butter I know I am I had peanut butter for breakfast I think I'm intolerant to it I'm All about right. to get my period so like I can't even form words right now thank you for watching don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and we're really grateful for you and your comments mean everything to us the silent watchers we love you too thank All you right. for being here thank you for being here bye, bye.